Zach, uh, Kiani, Mari, thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I really appreciate it. Congratulations on such a beautiful film. Thank you. Uh, thank you. So much emotion. So uh, so many themes you can really get out of out of a few minutes, and it all stems from just a combination of what of what you did, Zach, Kiani, Mary, with along with even uh, Pinar and her inner com composition of of a great score. Do um, you want to talk a little bit, Zach, about the ex your life experience and what you're finding about about aging that inspired you for us again? Yeah, I mean, I you know it's always a little weird for me to talk about you know. Ah, I'm an old man when I'm, you know, 36. Um, but uh, yeah, that's kind of where the story came from is that that realization, you know, you hit your 30s and you realize you're not, you're not a kid anymore, and you start to feel it. Um, and, and, you know, I can't play basketball the way I used to, I can't, you know, I drink a beer and I fall asleep now, like it's that <laughs> kind of, you know, that kind of thing. And so, you know, I had this, this feeling of like, man, I feel like I, I feel like I missed that part of my life. I'm looking backwards. And, but then again, like the, the, the women in my life, my mom, my wife, there are these people who are, who are always looking forward and are, who are, who are recognizing the beautiful moment that they're in. Um, and my mom, especially talking about when she grows up, it just, it felt like, man, I'm totally backwards. You know, <laughs> she's young from her perspective and I'm old from my perspective and she's 30 years older than me. Like this whole thing is messed up. And so, um, it just, it, it really made me kind of stop and realize that my perspective was wrong. And that kind of became the core of the, of the film. Look, I'm 32. I'm just getting started. That's right. I, That's right. Yes, there's little things here and there. I fall asleep at about 10, 10 30. I, think. <laughs> I, I obviously I, I feel like I'm 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 doing okay. So at 36, you, you're doing great. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, uh Keanu and Mary, I got to witness your uh your your live performance earlier today. It was great. It was so cool to see, you know, what they had animated and just to see it, but in, in with with both of you performing it, I thought it was it was a lot of fun. Can you talk about what was unique about us again and how how you actually put together some wonderful choreography? Yeah, I mean, obviously it, it being an animation project, it was our first time, you know, working on a project like this. Um, and uh, Zach and Brad really made it easy for us. They, they uh, really uh, were flexible to our process and made sure to get us as close to final music as possible so that we could because we're such um we're such detail oriented people in the same way that the animators are and musicality is so so important to us not just the melody but the sound that's used um and what's around it, all of those things and uh you know we were just kind of telling them like hey if you want our best stuff you got to get the music earlier. Um, and they were willing to go that length. Um, and uh, Zach putting together a bunch of previous work to make it super clear what the frame is or, or as close to possible, um, because all that stuff matters to us. Um, you know, if you're seeing our feet or if you're just seeing our top half. Um, and uh, once we got into the studio, it was just kind of going back to what we do all the time, which is, you know, tell stories through dance. Um, and just grateful to the team for making it as easy as possible for us. With, with the story so personal, Zach, what was that experience like to, for you to see their work? You know, they may be shooting something and showing it to you. This is what we're thinking we're going to do to, to take those ideas and bring them to life. And now it's storytelling through dance. It was, it was incredible. It really is like, one of my happiest memories in the process of, of making the film was, was the videos that they would send me because it's the, it represents the first time that we actually got to see that chicken and egg problem solved in that, <laughs> you know, we didn't know, we felt like the story works. We felt like it was going the right direction and the storyboards with the temp score. It's like, okay, I think this is working. And then you see the dance and you're like, oh yeah, this is definitely working. So like that, that completes that, that circle. And so um, it just, everything just kept getting elevated. You know, the music came in and it felt so much, so much better and so much more emotional. And then what these guys did with that music 
took it up to the next level. And then animation put it on our characters and our environments and the lighting and the rain and the, the wet clothes and like every single one of those steps, it just got more and more and more emotional because it got more and more real and more and more visceral. And, uh, and so it was amazing to get to kind of witness the entire journey. You know, obviously there were a million notes everywhere, but um, you know, I felt like I was just watching this thing come to life and it was incredible. And so bringing this thing to life, Keanu and Mary, you guys are obviously sending in all kinds of amazing uh, uh, dance videos. What was the experience for you guys to in turn see that turned into a Disney animated feature? Just insane, <laughs> it's surreal, uh, overwhelming, uh, all the things. Um, we feel so privileged to be able to be part of this and to also be able to represent dance and uh, to have a director um, at Disney Animation believe in giving dance a platform and a chance to tell a story like that. It's so rare because we see dance that way. We see it as a vehicle for story. But a lot of times people see it as like a cool little thing you could put here, or you do a musical number and you do some dancing here and then you <laughs> go back to the acting. Like, but that it was the through line. Um, and to have that chance, it was such a, an honor to represent dance. It was, it was a beautiful thing for dance in general. And we're just constantly overwhelmed that we got to be part of it. I asked Pinar what her experience was as far as the importance of music in our lives. I want to do the same with both of you, but in turn, what, it, what importance is dance in our lives? We know that there's, you know, dancing, you know, you, you dance for joy. You, there's your first dance at your wedding. There's hell your first dance at a, um, at a, a middle school dance, you know, your quince, you have a special dance, there's a recital. What is the importance of dance in all of our lives? Well, I, 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 honestly, it's it's um, it's innate. It's it's something that's in us. I mean, you see babies that are born as soon as they could stand. One of the first things they do before they can even walk, it just bounce. They put <laughs> music on, it just bounce. And and you know, we're born with rhythm, our heartbeats. You know, we're we're born with that in our veins. And and I think that oftentimes, you know, there was an era where going out to dance was so common or dancing with people was so common, um, you know, and, and we sort of drifted away from that, you know, and, and, and uh, we hope to bring some semblance of that back with story, because I know not everyone relates to a kickball change or a pirouette, um, uh, but they can relate to story. If you do that kickball change with anger in context of whatever is being said, mm -hmm. they're gonna understand that much more. Um, and uh, I mean, but it's, it's great to see dance though coming back in a new way with like TikTok and people doing it with their family <laughs> yeah. and all that stuff. Um, so I'm just so happy that um, this is working and that people who don't know anything about dance can enjoy this and feel this. Yeah. And dance exists like in so many different ways. It has existed yeah. through humans <laughs> existing. Yeah. It's always been part of culture yeah. and each culture around the world has their own versions of it. And, uh, you know, it's, it's just part of life. It's part of living. I think a lot of times people get self-conscious about it because they think it can only exist as this like big presentational thing that professionals do. That's only like one aspect of it because it really truly like it's part of us as humans. And that's why it feels so good. And it feels like a release of joy, no matter how skilled you think you are or how unskilled you think you are. It always will bring that uh, to you when, when you if, stop being self-conscious about it and just enjoy it. Absolutely. Thank you for such a wonderful answer. I, I really enjoyed that. Me too. Uh, uh, <laughs> we'll Zach, I, can't, I can't let you go without asking you about the, the, the concept of rain in your, in your film, because a lot of times it's, as, as we saw earlier during the press event, it is used to convey, you know, a sad moment, a moment of, of um, not necessarily weakness, but when, when you're at your lowest and that's kind of when you're getting a downpour of, of rain, of emotion. But you use it a little bit different. Can you talk a little bit about that and your your choice of doing that? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, I like I said in the in the press event, to me, growing up in the Midwest, like that was that was fun. 
you know, oh, it's raining. And then you go outside. You know, we had a half acre front yard when I was growing up in Indiana and uh, and thunderstorms. I mean, not under trees and stuff like that, you know, within reason. But like anyway, it was raining, running around, chasing after each other, tackling each other into puddles like to me, that is play that is childishness. And so and then on top of that, it was going to be beautiful. You know, we were going to have wet streets and neon lights and and people dance a, a beautiful couple dancing in the rain like I don't feel like there's anything more romantic than that either and so to me it just it from the very beginning I was like well yeah I don't know it couldn't be anything else mm -hmm. um you know once once the idea got got stuck in my brain I couldn't imagine anything else because it just felt so youthful so romantic and then also the, the stakes of it just the fact that it's temporary you know from the beginning this has to go somewhere and so you're intrigued as to where it's going to go. And so, um, yeah, it just felt like it, it checked all the boxes I needed it to check. I agree. I, I, being in California, I, I welcome rain. And <laughs> yeah, also, we can get it. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's what it was subconsciously. Like, I've been here for 20 years going, when's it going to rain? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Zach, Keone, Mary, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Congratulations on a wonderful film. Uh, I hope. I hope everybody else enjoys it as much as uh, my daughter and I did. Thank you. Thank you. All right. You all have a, have a great one.